There it comes. This is your drinking water. Welcome back. I'm gonna be stuck here for a while and I need some drinking water. And I've got the Ida Hill water purifier, which is a reverse osmosis water filter, or it's a water filtration system. So we're gonna try and purify this water into crystal clear drinking water. It does come with the USB-C charging cable. USB-C to USB-C by the look of it. Okay, the only thing I've done with this is taken it out and plugged the USB-C charger in it to charge it up. It was relatively full anyway. Uh, I think it took about 10 or 15 minutes to top it up before the green light came on to say it was fully charged. But yes, it does look like a toaster. A little bit bigger than a toaster, but it's relatively light. I'll put the weights and that on the screen. Accessories box. One thing I forgot to disclose too is that I actually contacted Ida Hill and they actually sent me one of these units free of charge. It took them less than a week to send it to me in Australia, so that's the postage is relatively quick. To be honest with you, they haven't even mentioned anything of about the review. They just sent it to me. The joys are working near mud. <laughs> so basically this is going to go straight in the, the water here. And because I haven't put the new filters in, there's two filters. There's a reverse osmosis and there's a hybrid filter. The hybrid filter is the primary filter and the reverse osmosis is the secondary filter that does all the hard, uh, the final purification. So the first hybrid filter takes most of the coarser stuff out and then the reverse osmosis, which is the RO, that takes all the finer stuff out and all the, the nasty parasites and whatever else that you can find in these lovely water holes. So this is the reverse osmosis, there's an RO on here. You can do it by hand, but they do supply a tool that you can put on here, depending on if you've eaten your wheat bix for the day, as to whether you can do it up by hand. I'll do the other one up with the tool. There's two O-rings here, and it's a bayonet fitting hybrid. Push down. So once you've got your new filters in, it's best to run the machine for 10 minutes with uh, fresh clean water just to uh, rinse out the filters and make sure the pump primes correctly. Uh, it's best, yeah, best done at home before you even take it out so you know what you're up for. Okay, basically there's two, two outlet, quick connect, quarter inch fitting, and you've got a blue pipe and a white pipe. It doesn't matter which pipe you use for what, I made the blue pipe my drinking water and the white pipe the wash water, which we can use for washing up or whatever you want to use later on. If you look closely, you'll see that the drinking water outlet is marked. We'll just throw this in the water, hopefully in one of the wheel ruts here. So I'll fill that up. Stick that in the mud. I'm just going to cut the video here because what happened here is actually it sucked in a lot of mud into the pump and all the pipe work and I couldn't get it to work so I had to abandon this trip and go home and clean it all out or come back in a few days and try again in a different spot. Okay we're just going to go through this little mud hole here and we're going to drink out of this mud hole and we'll, we'll draw some water from the top so we've got a a bit of clean we've got some clean water that's not so muddy so we'll just we'll just pull up here to the side okay this is a take two so i'm not going to stir the water up like i did the other day because sucking mud and grit is not good but what i'm going to do I'm still gonna make a bit of a sump just so we're not sucking from the bottom of the bog hole. So I'm just gonna cut a little window in here. And that way we can stick the, the filter in there 
and it can just take the clearer water off the top instead of all the mud. So I'm going to stick that in there, put that to the side, put our inlet, screw our inlet in. So basically what I did, I took this home after the other day and cleaned it all out. I had to prime it all out, get all the mud out of the, out of the system and then prime it with nice fresh water. So I've got a nice clean jar for drinking water there. And I've got one, this is going to be the wash, which is a white one we'll go into. So what I'll do, I'll stick this bottle in here. Just so we're getting the top of the water and not all the grit and mud like we did the other day. So I'll just press the button, hold it for three seconds. Okay, it's firing up. You see the water we're sucking out of muddy puddles. When you first start it up after using it, it'll do a quick back flush. And this is going to be our clean drinking water. So now you can hear the, the pump starting to load up. And this is going to be our drinking water. So I'll just let that run for a bit. This is our drinking water. So I'll let that run for a little bit. What I did find when filtering relatively clean water, after a minute I'd get about 273 milliliters of water and then if I wanted to say filter one liter jug of water, it would take me just about three and a half minutes. And this all depends on how dirty and how dirty your water is and how hard the pump and filters have to work to filter that water. So basically the wash, this is the wash water. It's overflowing in the drinking water. It's slowly just pulsing out. It's working pretty hard because I sealed the filters up the other day. It's struggling a little bit. I can hear it. You can see even the, the wash water's not too bad. You can see the drinking water slowly just dripping out. I think from the other day, the filters got quite blocked from all the mud I was sucking into the actual pump, which probably isn't good for it long term. So really you need to pay attention and draw your water from the top of your water source so you're not sucking up mud. But the other day, I just wanted to see, worst case, if you threw it in the mud and just see what happened. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the pump off. Just, just press it, give it a short tap and it'll turn the pump off. And basically this has been going for a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna attempt to drink the drinking water straight out of this puddle. And thankfully I am quite thirsty, so I'm gonna drink a fair bit of this. It's actually quite, That's really nice. I'm not lying, without a lie, that is really nice water. To think that I'm drinking water out of this puddle here and making sure that I'm drawing from the top. So we're not, like I said, keep, I keep repeating myself, but don't draw any mud into the pump. I still can't get over, I'm drinking this muddy water here. Of what started out, pardon? Yeah, we'll come over here and have a try. What's it taste like? The same. Same as what? Same as normal water that we usually drink. But do you believe it's you're drinking that water out of there? I can't believe it. Try it again. <sighs> what if I just drank a tadpole? Oh, you won't. You won't be drinking tadpoles. Yeah. But what if tadpoles come in here and have and then? And then it sucks all them out. I don't know. I don't think it will because it won't. There's, there is a little gauze on the end of the suction line and it won't suck any tadpoles in. Good. All right, have another sip. Mm. 